Hi again, this is Steve Franco from the Law Offices of Franco Munoz, where our mission is to represent injured workers and maximize all the benefits that they're entitled to. Today we're going to discuss one of the most common injuries that we see, which is injuries to your back, whether it's your cervical, your thoracic, or your lumbar, your spine. We see a lot of spine injuries, back injuries. And the purpose of this video is to discuss about back injuries and the steps that we do to make sure that our clients get the most compensation for their back injuries. Now, in California, the way you receive compensation for your workers' comp injury is that you determine what is the level of disability for your injury, what we call permanent disability. And the way permanent disability is determined is that a state doctor, a QME, a qualified medical evaluator, they are going to do a physical exam. They are going to review all the diagnostics related to your back injury and they are going to apply a big green book. It's called the American Medical Association Guides fifth edition. It's a big green book, about 700 pages with about 19 chapters. And it has the big letter G on the front, as you can see. And that book contains chapters on every part of your body. And it guides a state doctor to determine the appropriate permanent disability corresponding to the injured body part. But today, specifically, we're discussing the lower back. And so when it comes to the lower back, which is chapter 15 of the book, a state doctor will look at various factors. For example, they will look at um, the strength of your back. They will look at whether any nerves have been affected. And to determine these things, state doctors will be looking for certain types of diagnostics. So what we do at our law firm is we make sure that our clients are getting the correct diagnostics so that we could identify these diagnoses so that when they are evaluated by a state doctor, a state doctor can determine if these diagnoses exist. For example, one of the first things we have our clients get is called a EMG. NCS. Basically, it's a nerve study. And that nerve study is basically an exam to determine if the nerves that are connected from your neck to your arms, if you have a neck injury, or if the nerves connected from your lower back to your legs have been impacted. And if there is pain shooting from your neck down to your arms, or there's pain that's going from your lower back down to your legs, that test will determine if you have what's called radiculopathy. And if you have radiculopathy, which is the sensation of ants going up and down your arms, if you have a neck injury, or the sensation of pain going up and down your legs, if you have a lower back injury, that right there will allow a state doctor to give someone a level of disability for the back based on that diagnosis. And it usually means that they're going to fall in what's called category three. There's five categories for back injuries. And if you fall in category three, it means that you have a radiculopathy. And so we make sure that we have doctors that are treating you that are going to request for a nerve study to see and prove whether you have radiculopathy. Now another thing that we also make sure we obtain is MRIs. An MRI can show if any discs have been affected. You see the spine has various disc levels and they're expressed uh, as L4, L5, L5, L6, there's C1, C2 for the neck, C3, C4. They're different intervals, different spaces. And what an MRI is, is where you go into this tube and they do an MRI to look at your muscles. And if those muscles show that your discs are pushing against your spine, 
it could show that you have a herniation. It could show that your uh, spine is being pressed really hard by, uh, by these muscles and that is going to be a reason for why you are manifesting pain. And so an MRI will show where there are disc bulges, where there are problems with your, with your back and that will also be strong evidence to a state doctor that you have a certain type of symptoms that will help the state doctor determine the appropriate level of disability. Again, we also make sure that the doctors that are treating our clients are getting MRIs to make sure that the MRIs demonstrate what discs are being affected and how those discs are causing certain things to happen. For example, the MRI will show a disc that's being pressed upon and that will be a reason why someone has less strength or why someone cannot lift as much. And if the MRI shows that someone cannot lift as much, that means that they have lost strength, that they have lost the capacity to lift. And that is a factor that a state doctor can also look at to increase the value of your case because if your back injury has caused you to lift less that means that there's going to be an additional level of disability which will increase the total permanent disability and it will result in more compensation for you and so basically those are two of the principal exams diagnostics that we make sure that our state doctors have <clears throat> and that they, they, they do for our clients and that will help our client be able to have a fair and good opportunity to have the compensation that they're entitled to because ultimately the state doctor will have a good idea of what's going on with their case and what's going on with their body and write a report that accurately reflects their disability. Well, that's it regarding back injuries in a nutshell. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at the number below. Also, if you have a chance, subscribe to our channel where we'll be able to provide you with more information about California workers' compensation and how you can get all the benefits that you're entitled to.